This is just going to be a quick little video talking about solving exponential equations using natural log. Now the time we recognize when we want to use natural log is when we have a base of e. Um, if we have a base of 10, we want to use common log. Any other base, you can pretty much use any log you want, depending on how you decide to solve. Um, but the only logs we have in our calculator are natural log and, and common log. So we typically want to have our answer in terms of one or the other. Um, the reason we want to use natural log is natural log is log base e. So log base e of x is actually equal to ln of x. So when we have an equation like this, we have two choices on how to solve it. We could rewrite it as a log. So the base is e, so that automatically makes it an ln of x. We're taking, excuse me, makes them, that makes it an ln, sorry. Uh, we're taking natural log of 7, and that's going to give us our exponent, which is 3x. Last step, divide both sides by 3, we get x equals ln of 7 over 3. The other option is we could have done what's called taking the natural log of both sides. So when we have this equation, once we've isolated that exponential piece, we can take natural log of both sides, property of log says we can pull the exponent out front, so we get 3x times ln of e equals ln of 7. Now one of the main reasons we always want to use a natural log uh, when we have e, well natural log of e is just equal to 1, so divide both sides by 3 and once again we get x equals ln of 7 over 3. So um, we've got two different ways we can think about solving that. I want to look at one other example with just a little bit more going on. Um, let's say we have 7 e to the 3x plus 1 minus 2 equals, how about, let's make it 12. So there's a little bit more going on before we want to employ the log. We want to isolate the exponential piece first. So we, might, so we might go ahead and add the, the 2 to both sides. So we have 7e to the 3x plus 1 equals 14. Now we're going to divide both sides by 7. So right now we're just using normal uh, equation solving techniques. So we have e to the 3x plus 1 equals 2. And again, we're at that point where we can think of rewriting it as a natural log, or we can think of taking the natural log of both sides. So let's take the natural log of both sides. That allows us to pull our exponent out front. So I'm going to write it over here to the side. Uh, so I have 3x plus 1. You do want to put that in parentheses. Times the natural log of e equals ln of 2. Now, as we mentioned before, natural log of e is just 1, so that's going to go away. So we have 3x plus 1 equals ln of 2. And I would leave that as ln of 2. We're going to find a nice exact answer. If we want a decimal, we can always find that at the end. Uh, subtract 1 off both sides, so we get 3x. This 1 does not subtract from the 2. I see that, that uh, mistake made a lot. It's actually going to be ln of 2 minus 1. ln of 2 is its own number. Last step, once again, to divide by 3, we're going to get x equals ln of 2 minus 1 all over 3. A nice exact answer that now if we need the decimal, we can put it into our calculator.